those of you too dense to remember where we were last week, here's a quick review. <laughs> Got all that? Yeah, I said that faster isn't always better, and you said... You're out of your mind. Right. Well, think of it this way. Music is a language, and the point of any language is to communicate. Now, if the notes are going by so fast that the listener can't really hear them, how important are they? It's sort of like if a tree fell on a guitar in the forest and no one was there to hear it, how fast would it play? But I know that the notes are all in there. True, you can be your own listener, and you should be, whether anyone else is listening or not. I'm my own best friend. You've got to play for yourself or you're never going to get the kind of control that makes you one with the instrument. But shredding away in your bedroom alone probably won't cut it for long because at some point you're going to want to connect to an audience. The most interesting man in the world. I don't always play at impossible speed. But when I do, I play with myself. So playing faster isn't a goal worth striving for? Well, that really depends on you. Speed conveys intensity, energy. So if that's part of your temperament, well, you're going to want to play fast. Nothing wrong with that. And you might even want to be able to play at ludicrous speed. Because if you can do that, playing at slower speeds is going to be relatively easy. And that's what you really want. Mastery happens when everything's easy. So I'm not saying don't play fast. I'm just saying that when it comes to music, Faster isn't always better. But you said faster is more energy. So if I want to play music with more energy, then faster is better. Yeah, for you. But it's not true across the board. It's called an opinion. But let's take it a step further because what sounds fast isn't always what is fast. There's an absolute or true speed. And that's really about the speed of the pulse and the number of notes per beat. So it's a mathematical thing. But what actually makes a run sound fast that's perceived speed, and the two are often quite different. How's that? Well, true speed is a factor of perceived speed, but there are other factors too. So context, note choice, clarity of articulation, tone, ambience, effects, you know, how strong it is in the mix. Whether you're playing behind your head or with your teeth. Well, yeah, the visual aspect too. All this comes together and can make things seem faster than they really are. So it's not actual speed we really care about anyway, or at least that you care about anyway. It's the impression of speed. It's the energy conveyed. So playing faster than ludicrous is... ludicrous? Like playing into a black hole. Because a black hole is like a, a massive gravitation point, and it sucks everything in, including light. So when you look at it, it's like you see nothing. And in the same way, if I play super fast and the listener can't hear it, it's like nothing. I've been calling it playing into the black hole ever since speed mechanics. Going faster just seems pointless. Pointless? I've been listening to all this crap about musical value and communication, but the real point isn't that. The real point is attention, pure and simple. And nothing gets attention like fast. I'm not sure getting attention is my real goal. What, and you wanna just play to your dog or something? I mean, if you want a career, you gotta get some attention. Oh, that's right, you think you're a musician, an artist. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? I mean. What do you think music is, doofus? I hate to break it to you, but music is an art. It's entertainment. If it doesn't entertain, nobody cares. The music industry is dead. But there is a two trillion dollar a year entertainment industry. And why is entertainment so big? To distract people from their boring, empty, miserable lives. That's the real service you're providing as a musician. People will pay for a good distraction. It's a beautiful thing. Man, you're cynical. Maybe, but it's true. And the sooner you get that, the better. Because after you know the game, you can start winning the game instead of being a loser. And what exactly does winning look like for you? Oh, I'll know it when I get there. 
with enough Facebook likes, I can even become a professional celebrity. Then I'll be welcomed into the Social Media Hall of Fame, an honorary member of the elite, the acclaimed. And then you'll be worshiping me. I heard if you get 100 million likes, Zuckerberg has to invite you to his house. Yeah, probably. Plus, with all that money, well, with that kind of success, we'll all finally recognize just how good I really am. It's the real American dream, you know. More like insecurity. And how many likes do you think you're going to need to get there? The answer we're looking for is, well, 7 billion. I'm pretty sure truth is determined by consensus. Shall we put it to a vote? Yeah, why not? Click the survey link in the description below and let us know what you think makes a guitarist great. And remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of this riveting conversation.